Breaking at five, the trial of a man accused of killing a Fort Myers police officer is moving way faster than expected. We're talking closing arguments now set for tomorrow. What the defendant said on the stand after the state suddenly rested its case. And a new affordable housing complex breaks ground in Fort Myers, but just how affordable is it? We'll tell you how much people have to pay in the midst of our housing crisis. Live from Fox 4, this is breaking news. And breaking this afternoon, by this time tomorrow, the fate of the man accused of killing a Fort Myers police officer in 2018 could be in the jury's hands. Thank you for joining us. I'm Nadine Yanis. Closing arguments in the trial against Wisner Desmarais happening first thing in the morning with both sides resting their case today, including Desmarais himself taking the stand in his own defense as he faces the death penalty. Fox 4's Brianna Brownlee continuing her coverage from the Lee County Courthouse live for us tonight. And Brie, Desmarais' testimony came after the state suddenly and surprisingly rested their case in what they said originally would take weeks to try. That is correct, Nadine. Now, last week, Judge Robert Branding said that this death penalty case could possibly last two to three weeks. However, today, day two of trial, both sides have rested, and closing arguments are expected to start first thing tomorrow morning. And, of course, the man that is on trial and facing the death penalty for killing Officer Adam Jobbers Miller was able to testify today. Desmarais continues to say he feared for his life, and he is not a violent man. But Desmarais says... Never Never said or denied that he shot the officer who he said was scared him because he tried to chase him. Now prosecutors have said the events leading to up to the shooting all started with the fight with three men Desmarais accused of following him. One of those men testified that did not happen. Today Desmarais said he ran from officers including Jobbers Miller because he says the men from the fight told the officers to kill him. That's when the prosecutors asked this. Even after you heard the one gentleman from the Camaro say, kill him. You didn't see or hear any of the officers shoot you at that time, correct? What I could tell you, I seen movements and it was an officer had already had his hand on his gun on the video. Now tonight at 6, we will hear from the person who actually tested the DNA, and the state will explain why they feel like this is linked to Desmarais. Meanwhile, Desmarais will say why he feels like the evidence isn't enough. Live from the Lee County Courthouse, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.